Hello friends, we are still not employed by a fang company, so let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to work upon a lead code easy problem, uh, number of ones, one bits. And this is a bit manipulation problem. I know a lot of people don't like it, but uh, it's really simple to understand. So the problem statement is pretty simple. We just need to check that in any given integer, if we represent it in binary form, how many times the one value is being repeated. So in this given example, we are given a number like this. Uh, n is equal to uh, 1011, which is which is the binary representation of the decimal value 11 that uh, we need to check that how many times this uh, one this one is repeated in the given integer and clearly over here we can see that the one is being repeated three times and which is the answer of this problem and notice that the number is represented quite long because it is showing that all the 32 bits of any integer and all the integer all the input types would be of 32 bit uh, and we need to find that how many times one exists so the first approach we are going to take is quite simple and we are going to use a binary operator and now let me show the table for and binary operator for any given two values the we can have four possible combinations and a and b means if the value of a and b both are one in only that scenario we are going to consider the value of a and b as one otherwise if there exists any single zero or both values are zero we would just simply put the values as zero using this logic we can solve this problem really fast and uh, the most basic approach is we would simply run a loop 32 times and every single time we are going to compare each element with one and see that if we add the value that exists at any given location with our value one and if the answer is one uh, uh, we do uh, counter plus and uh, and after running the loop for 32 all the 32 bits uh, we would just simply return the value for counter let me show you an example by an example what i'm trying to say suppose the input we have is 13 if we represent it in binary it would look like and we would have 28 zeros and the prefix now we will create a value just any random variable uh, and we would uh, give it as value number one and we will run a loop uh, from 0 to 32 and at, inside the loop for every single value we would compare that whether this one we would compare it with the rightmost element in our given input array and we would do an AND operation between these two values and we would we would have a counter that we initially set it up as 0 and whenever we find that the answer of these two AND variables is actually 1 we would simply increase the counter so for the first uh, so for the rightmost position we would increase the value of our counter so counter would become 1 and after we are done with this condition we would simply do a left shift for this random operator in the for the given input so now one would be shifted one position to the left and we would again do the same operation so this time we will do an end operation between this zero and one and the value of end operation would be zero so we won't update the counter and again we would do a left shift for this one element and again we would do an end operation the value we would get is one which means we need to update our counter so counter becomes two and again we would shift our element we do an end operation again again the value still remains uh, one so we update our counter again and we update the counter to three and then uh, we would subsequently update the value of uh, this random character to one bit to the left 
and now notice that all the remaining bits are zero so the uh, end operation will always uh, equal to zero so we won't update the count and at the end of the loop we can simply return whatever value of count we found as our answer now this approach works perfectly fine and uh, this approach actually runs in big o of one time uh, because we only have to run the loop 32 times which is a minimal amount of work that we have to do and the answer would always be constant so this is in itself pretty neat solution but let's see if we can go one step further and we can reduce this uh, loop counter time to less than 32 in order for us to understand the optimal solution let's first take an example so uh, say we are given a value n equals to 36 now let's represent this value in binary because we know that binary works like 2 to the power 5 and if we do the summation of these values in decimal terms uh, this would become 4 and this would become 32 so 32 plus 4 becomes 36 now the intuition behind this uh, solution is that if we take one value lesser than 36 uh, let's say 35 and if we represent this value in binary terms the binary representation looks like and notice that the first one that we encountered on our original input the one value lesser than that has the exact opposite in terms of number of ones up until this point that if we do uh, and operation between these two values the value we would get is like this so notice that this one has already disappeared in the and result of these two values and if we repeat the same process so now this value that we got in binary the value is actually 32 and again if we repeat this same operation that we do an and between the number of number by itself with one value lesser than that we would gain a result like so first let's uh, let's represent the value number 31 in binary and now if we do an and operation between these two values the answer we would get is all zeros which exactly means that we would only run the loop the number of times one we have in our original given input because over here we only had two one in the input so during the first iteration of our loop we got rid of this first one and we can see it over here and during the second end operation we got rid of the second one as well and we got the answer as all zeros so at the beginning if we create a variable count and we originally set it up to zero and every time in the given loop if we just go through the loop and the value of the current val uh, value of current n is not equal to zero we just simply increase the value of count to one so which means that during this first iteration the value of count would be 1 and during the second iteration the value of count would be 2 and after that we found that the value of n is actually equal to 0 so we can simply break out of the loop and when we break out of the loop we would return whatever the value of count we had found and in this case the value of count we found is actually 2 and this solution would work perfectly fine and this would be our optimal solution the time complexity for this solution is also big o of 1 which is a constant time but the thing is the number of loop iterations that we have to go through would only be equivalent to whatever the value of 1 we are given in the original input array and we don't have to run the loop uh, 32 times like the previous solution so we are 
actually in our constant time solution we are also saving a lot of time and this would be the fastest solution we can reach into uh, and in terms of space complexity we are not using any additional space so space co uh, complexity would also be constant time and and now let's move on to coding thank you so first of all we will create a variable for count and set it up to zero now we simply run a loop we will run this loop till the number is not equal to zero and with every iteration we will increase the value of count and we will simply do uh, n equal to n and n minus 1 at the end of the loop we just return count Looks like our solution is working. Let's try to submit the code. And yeah, submission works as expected. It's pretty efficient and neat. And uh, let me know what do you think about this video. And uh, if you have any more suggestions, feel free to reach out to me in the comments and uh, I can address them. Thank you. Bye bye.